Plaintiff Valerie Hayes loaned her BFF $4,800 to keep her struggling juice bar afloat. Now that sales are up, she wants to be paid back. Defendant Janelle Minfi claims the money was an investment, not a loan. So there's nothing to repay. This is case number 199 on the docket, Haynes versus Minfi. Okay, and good morning to both of you. Good morning. We have the plaintiff, Ms. Haynes, and you are suing your, as you say, former friend, Janelle Minfrey, for $4,800, saying that you loaned her to save her failing juice bar business. I loaned her some money. Yes. And she hasn't paid me back true. yet. She didn't loan it to okay. me. She loaned, no. I, I loaned her no, the money. She, she hasn't paid me back me. yet. Okay, That's I'm going to give you, yeah, okay. I'm going to give you a chance to okay. answer, okay? Don't First interrupt time, me. Thank you. You loaned her how much? $4,800? Yes, I did. Tell me your side of the story. I met Janelle about six years ago. Yes. You know, we, we was friends. Yes. And so she wanted to open up a juice bar. That was like her dream. Yes. And as a friend, I'm going to support her dreams and her goals. And so she was doing her juice bar thing, and it, you know, after a while, it got it closed down because, you know, the rent was high. She couldn't afford to pay the rent. And so things got hard for her. So she came to me and she asked me for a loan. I said, sure, you know, I'm working. I could, I could help her out, you know what I'm saying? So I loaned her the money. When I came to her to get my money, she's like, oh, I don't owe you the money. You gave me that money. Did you make it clear to her that it was a loan? Yes, it was no, very clear not. that it was she's a loan. Lying. Is there anything? Your Honor, I'm a mother. She did I not loan me the money. I, she know I can't have, I, don't have I, I, I took my money out, the savings to give to her. I need that money back. When did you arrange that she would pay you back? It wasn't like a, a arrangement, like per se. Like, I didn't sign no papers. We was friends, so I'm thinking, like, I'm going to get my money back eventually. So I when see. I came to her about it, I'm thinking, oh, OK, then I'm going to get my money. Yeah. She this said, loan? You gave me that money. She did give me the money. How dare, how, how dear as a friend, I sacrificed for her, and she's going to tell me I don't, she don't owe me the money back? Right. I gave it to her? Now I'll hear your side of the story. Okay, when she gave me the money, she never said it was a loan. She said that she was giving it to me. And Why? then after the fact that Why she gave me... Okay. After the fact that she gave me the money, this is now 2019. She gave it to me <laughs> in 2018. She never said anything all of this time until now. Why? Okay. I, and then so after the fact that she gave me the talk. money, yep. she was coming to my store by herself sometimes and with her kids, and they never paid for anything. So maybe she just assumed because she gave me the money that she didn't have to pay for the things that she purchased in my store. It's not just a juice like bar. The juice. Yeah, but I don't, it's like a juice bar cafe. Okay. So I also have food, my pastries, desserts, everything. So whatever she wanted, she just didn't pay for it. Normally, if somebody, because that's, that's a lot of money. So if somebody hand you $4,800, mm -hmm. it would seem to be the normal reaction would be, you know, when can I pay you back? In other words, it would seem to me that that issue would be talked about. I'm not saying whether it should have been a gift, whether it should have been a loan, right. whether it should have been an investment. We didn't have that conversation because I told her I needed the money and we she said that she was going to give it to now. me. So it wouldn't be... You're saying there was no discussion No, about there was no discussion. So if when she gave me the money, I'm not going to ask her when I got to pay her back because she never told me that it was a loan. I have a business and she knew that I was having a hard time. So if I come to her, basically she's taking it as like an investment or she's helping me out. Now, if I don't have $1,400, then... That's unacceptable, Yonda. You're my friend. you like my family. Okay. Like, how dare you? There's nothing written here, is that correct? There's no written document. Honor, Judge, honor. Okay, I got Friendship. it, I got it. So since there's nothing written here, there are three possibilities, right? Mm -hmm. It could have either been a gift, it could have been a loan, it could have been an investment. Those are the only three possibilities. When someone makes an investment, they expect a return if there is a profit. It's a gamble. The difference between an investment and a loan is a loan is an obligation even if the business doesn't make a profit. You can't say to a bank, I don't have to pay back the loan because my business fell on hard times. And then the only time there's no obligation is if it's an outright gift. Now, you're saying this is a loan. Because a loan requires a payback, even if the business goes under, when you loan somebody money, it has to be very clear in the beginning that this is a loan. And the reason it has to be is because the person receiving the loan may say, as many would, I can't commit to paying you back. Because if the business goes under, I don't have that kind of money. Judge, it was a loan. She asked to borrow money for her business. It was a loan. 
So the fact that I didn't say, oh, Janelle, you got to pay me back on November, blah, 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 that's irrelevant. That's A. The other if thing is, I'll, I'll, determine, thing I'll determine if it's irrelevant, but go ahead. It was clear it was a loan. That's, that's the first thing. The second thing is, you my friend. You know I got kids. I got a whole family. I got five kids, Your Honor. I'm going to just pull well, one out. You shouldn't have five kids. No. I'm not going to do that. I I'm know. not going to do that. And that's a crazy place to keep the money anyway. <laughs> That's what they call. Anyhow, so that's John, what they call dirty I pulled money. the money out. <laughs> I pulled the money out of my emergency funds. Yes. You know, so I sacrificed for my friend. I know. Oh so I would God. think that my friend would. I wouldn't have to say to her, "Oh, can I get my money?" Like she would just know that you know I gotta pay Val back. I she understand gave me that. This money. Look, that. It wasn't like it was a hundred dollars. It was forty eight hundred dollars. But I know. she didn't okay. say that it was a loan. So why okay. would I you take it as a loan? If you ask to borrow money, what is that called? I didn't say can I borrow forty eight hundred dollars. I said, I need $1,400. She knows it's that I work very hard to open okay. that juice bar. I got an A on my I first did, I did, I did, I do know inspection. that. That's why I helped you. I don't distrust you for a second. In fact, I don't think anyone here is lying. I think you are two friends that casually got involved in a financial relationship that your intention wasn't clear to her and your intention wasn't clear to her. So now you're in a messy situation. There's yeah. nothing written down. I have to try and figure out what the intentions were, as well as what is fair and what is just. Now, if I'm going purely on fairness, I would say $4,800 is a lot of money, and it's only fair, particularly since she was your friend, that at some point you pay her back. That's fairness, if it's just on that. I believe you are very committed to what looks like a very nice juice bar, and may you be total, ooh. <laughs> Here's what I think is fair. Here's what I think is fair. Because I don't want either of you to get ripped off here. You sued for $4,800. Yeah, and I have proof, so... This is a case where you two should be great friends, and this, this financial issue got mixed up because in the pure business world, this was very poorly handled, okay? Not because you had bad intentions, but that's not how you handle business. When you're talking about that kind of money, which is a lot of money, it ought to be paid back. And so I am finding for the plaintiff in half the amount, the sum of $2,400. Friends and money don't mix, that's about mine. So I'll never do that again. You got something. So I guess she feels better about that. Thank mm -hmm. you.